Buddy. Save our Mayas. They gave his life for this. I'm sorry. I know you did your best, Cal. And the Empire? They did not track us. Hey, Scrapper. Glad you made it back in one piece. Master Kudova, did you find a way across the abyss? No. But you may have, Cal. Boat and I were able to find some interesting data in the archives. Let's show them what we dug up. Centuries ago, the Republic established the colony on Kobo to study a stellar anomaly known as the Abyss. Santari Kree led the research team. That sea with them. Early attempts to navigate the Abyss ended in disaster. The Republic was on the verge of abandoning the project. And then guess who volunteers to fly in alone and discovers a planet on the other side? Dagon. Using the data from his voyage, Kree invented the Abyss Compass to guide others safely to Tenor. The Republic established a settlement, the Jedi built a temple, just like you said, Cal. Regrettably, a time of peace and prosperity was disrupted when Outer Rim Marauders invaded. I saw them too, but how'd they get across the Abyss? They must have stolen a compass. Don't worry, we won't be so careless. Overwhelmed, the Republic abandoned Tenor, and the Jedi Council ordered Kree to destroy the compass. Dagangera refused and rebelled against the Order. That is a Gendai. They do not often ally with other species. Looks like Ravis has been working with Dagon for a lot longer than we thought. So the Order sent Jedi to secure the compasses. Dagon murders them over it. Jedi killing other Jedi. But Centauri said that Dagon was the key to Tantalor. Maybe he is young Jedi. Despite my efforts, those compasses you brought me were beyond repair. However, records indicate that three were unaccounted for. So you're saying one might still be out there? Yes, and Dagon sent his army to look for it. <laughs> I'd ask you to stay and help us, but I recognize that look. What look? Hope. That planet could be a haven for those who stand against the Empire. So you coming with us? I mean, Grease can make room on the Mantis. For all of you. No. This place needs me. The Hidden Path needs me. Cordova? I'm sorry, my friend. But for now, my place is on Jeddah with Seer. Let me prepare a data stick so you'll have access to our research wherever your journey takes you. Let me guess. You're staying too. When we first met, I thought that what we shared was... unique. Survivors. Fighting together against the Empire who took our families. Yeah. You helped me realize I wasn't alone. As did you. But there is a galaxy full of people who have suffered as we have. It's as Seer said. Perhaps you have found a sanctuary for them. Perhaps. If we can get to it. I will join you. Besides, it's been far too long since I've made Grease's hair stand on end. See you back on the Mantis night, sister.
Time for us to make our move. I'm curious to hear what you make of Dagon Gara's history. Dagon felt like his life. His work was being threatened. That obsession led him astray. <laughs> Sounds all too familiar. recall that I had a vision foretelling the fall of the Order. But the Council... Well, it... Let's just say that my warnings fell on deaf ears. In my arrogance, I felt betrayed. But you were right. That's beside the point. I allowed my wounded pride to cloud my judgment. When the purge began, I was still searching for proof that my vision was true. Instead of being there to support Seer and her Padawan. Cal, VD well-timed. I remembered a second location you might wish to explore. Another temple? Quite so. This one is in the southern desert, and it is quite magnificent. When I visited, I felt the weight of the past upon me. I am sure you will too. Sounds incredible. I think so. Although it was certainly simpler before the Empire increased its presence here. Good luck on Kobo, my friend. You're upset about Armias. Aren't you? Of course. But this is not the first life lost in our struggle. And it will not be the last. I know, but we were so close, Seer. Brother Armias served the cause faithfully. And that service lives on through our determination to keep moving forward. What happens to the safe house now? It will be a long time before we can risk sending anyone to collect what remains. Cal, find Tanelor. Imagine how many lives we could save. We should return to Kobo soon. I'll just need a moment here. The longer we wait, the bolder these raiders grow. What's keeping us? Kobo calls. Right. Okay, let's go. There you are. Manus is tuned to perfection and ready to go. <laughs> so where are we going? Back to Kobo. Turns out we need a special compass to navigate the abyss. A compass? Okay, sure, sure. Whatever you say, kid. Oh, and Marin's coming along. Wait, what? Mar Marin's joining us? Why didn't you tell me? I could have cleaned up the place. Oh, this is just perfect. Well, now it's too late to clean the manis. I hope she doesn't notice. Great time to change up our equipment.
back to Coruscant. Check up on Monk. The Mantis has changed. Oh, yeah. Cal and Boat, they ain't exactly the cleaning types. I cleaned this morning. Wait, did I? No, I didn't. That, that's on me. Marin, I didn't know you were coming. Hey, maybe I'll pick up some SCAS steaks. Why'd you join back up anyways? Seer and I believe Tantalor could be a refuge for those persecuted by the Empire. Persecuted by the Empire, huh? Kind of get crowded. Eyes front, Cal. We're coming in. Something happened? The Raiders paid us another visit. Took a shine to that droid you found. See? They took her, Cal. Carried her right out. She's been droid napped. My saloon better be okay, Turgle. I think you brought this down on us. I'm innocent, Mr. Grease. Promise! Dagon sent them. He's after Tantalor. There must be something more to Z than we realized. Something scrambled up in her memory banks. We have to rescue her. Once he gets what he wants, he'll scrap her for sure. It won't be easy to get her back. The raider base is in the swamp. They gutted an old Luker Hulk battleship from the Clone Wars. We've seen it. Means they got a lot of firepower. As do we. She's right. Now's our time to move. I like where this is going. They already have what they came for. They're back at the fortress feeling safe, complacent. They'll never see it coming. Maybe not. But if you're wrong, then they'll be looking for payback. Not to worry. I will stay here and look after Grease and the others. You sure? I think you two can manage. Just don't let him swim without supervision. Let me know if you need help. Nice sex. Name's Mosey. Marin. All right. I'll scout ahead. Meet you there. Hey, Cap. Got some info that might be useful to you. Hey, Monk. Word is you're planning to rescue my new favorite droid. That's the plan. Well, before you go charging in there like a mudhorn through a moisture farm, allow me to give you the lowdown. That raider base is inside a derelict Luker Hulk battleship. You ever seen one? A few times. Then you know how deadly those things are. It may be grounded. That ship is still chock full of defense turrets and reprogrammed battle droids. How do you know all this? I read a lot. Listen, just grab Z and skedaddle before the whole hive comes swarming down on you, hmm? Thanks for the advice, Monk. Be careful out there. Now, I know you've got a lot on your plate, but one of my patrons set off to the swamp, and no one's seen her since. You don't think she went after Z, do you? Quite likely. And we both know that's Raider territory. I'll check it out. That'll put us all at ease, Cal. Zig's one of the good ones. Hope you're able to get Z back. That old research droid really... He livens things up around here. 
Some prospectors told me about a strange building. Distinctive entrance, so they say. Could be one of those meditation chambers. Yes, I was thinking the same. Let me know if you find anything, will you? No problem, Toa. Some other time, okay? We have some tunes, but there's got to be so much left. Heard you and Boat are gonna take the fight to the Raiders! Word travels fast around here. A daring assault on the Raider Fortress by the mighty warrior and his gunslinging sidekick to save their droid companion! Yes! C is lucky to have a friend like you. Hiya! Seems the Raiders haven't forgotten Turgle's little trick. Shame that Z's the one foot in the bill. Let's we'll see about that. Oh, don't tell me you plan on rescuing her. Okay, I won't tell you. Another time. Hey, Two Locked. From the eye of the storm into the belly of the beast, you must go. Yeah, I know. What ails you, Sojourner? Just wondering how things would have been different if I could have stopped them from taking Z. Do your powers also include omniscience? No. But... Seek only where you wish to go, not where you long to have been. Regret is a mirage that leads many off the path. I must be alone now. You're on a roll, Cal. Got another tip for ya. What you got? A bounty droid named Mesh has been babbling on the brew comms about that lab on the Shattered Moon. Go shut him up, will ya? They're a disgrace for the profession, if you ask me. We'll see about them. Sooner or later. Sad a boy? Get a move on, will ya? Those bounties won't collect themselves. Hey, Dana. Rock. Welcome back. Great to see you in one piece. Let's drink to... Don't quit wobbling your jaw. Sorry, Cal. Rock's in a mood. Oh, I'm in a mood, all right. Job not go as you planned? It went fine. We made off with a big, stinking drive cord. Yeah. After Dana dropped a half-ton Durasteel brace on her. Ugh, it was involuntary. That shiver peed meant business. You just choked under pressure. Choked? Cal, the woman almost got me killed. I practically wrote my damn epitaph. Aw, is it time for your nap, grumpy old Brock? <laughs> Lunatic. Cross patch. What? Seems like the Raider problem here is getting worse on the daily. They've got a new leader. The surprise are getting bolder. Well, I guess that's why they call it hazard pay. Not much to be done, is there? Talk like that's gonna get us both killed. Oh, yeah? Well, let's get his take. What do you propose we do, Cal? You should avoid the Raiders. Scrapping is dangerous, but they're worse. Kid's right, Dana. No more jobs on gang turf. Too risky with them Raiders. Ha! <laughs> I ain't gonna be intimidated by a few goons with attitude. This is just what we scrappers do. We grab anything that looks valuable. And hope it isn't load-bearing. Yeah, I get it. But you're underestimating the Raiders. Due respect, we've made it this far. And there's no way I'm quitting. We're? <laughs> right. No way we're quitting now. How you doing? tell you about the mogu around the swamp? There's a mogu there? Yep, and this one's a whopper. It can snap your arms off like puerco sticks. We'll see. Well, if you're crazy enough to try, your best bet is to avoid its mud throws. Good tip. Salutations. Thanks for keeping an eye out while we go after Z. If the Raiders return, we will make them regret it. Reckon we're gonna get along just fine. I think so. Go, Cal. Z needs you. Oh, hey. What's wrong, Grease? Uh, just thinking about the Bedlam Raiders. Pyloons was meant to be a home away from home. 
But these raiders are ruining everything. Everyone's afraid, and there's nothing I can do about it. At least people have a place to lie low. Yeah, I suppose you have a point. Besides, if the raiders come around again, I've got your back. Oh, thanks, kid. I appreciate that. Hey, I was thinking, now that Marin's back in the crew, we could always head to Coruscant. Not that I want to. This garden's got room to grow. I've cleared another plot for you. Thank you for growing plants to their full potential. Hi, Peely. So far, Kobo has been a welcoming home. And this rooftop's energy drew me towards it. You feel a connection to this garden? Yes. We will help each other grow. Looks like you've already started. Divines? Yes, they sprouted overnight. But there's so much more to discover. If you plant new seeds, I'll tell you all about them. But, much like healthy roots, do not overextend yourself. Grow the plants we have, and I'll clear more garden space in due time. That tuber ma will take to the soil well, I believe. The bright colors are to intimidate predators. Truly, the plant is harmless and quite pretty. Just you wait for that golden... ...and light moss to grow. Observe the roots that rise up underneath, helping the flowers to reach nearby light sources. A bluebell squish! How fascinating! Its flower has a most unusual scent, drawn from the moss as it blooms. I find it quite pleasant. Let's sow some new seeds. Gardening is creation. This is a new one. I bet Peely has more information. How about here?
Let's plant this here. There you go, little seed. Wanna plant some seeds? Garden in peace, and you bring peace to all. Planted. Never seen this one. I should talk to Peely about it.
New seeds. That Peely will have something to say about this. What are you fishing for? I'm hunting the ferocious me. Uh, did you know the me was the very first fish we scuba caught? That must have been quite a day. Aye, that was barely yee high back then. Little scuba swam headlong into the creature's mouth.
Welcome, Jedi. Our problems are often matters of perspective. By shifting our position, so too moves our thinking, and thus by reframing it, a problem may not seem so vexing after all. <laughs> Sounds familiar. I never thought I would find this planet so energizing. There is something unique about it, no? I must show you a spring I found recently. The aura there is invigorating. Dagon boarded the first transport out. Nonsense. He would never. Wherever he is, we need him. This is not good. It is so different to Coruscant. I find its quiet almost deafening by comparison. And yet, there's a unique peace to it. Thank <laughs> you. 
sure Z can decrypt this for us.
It's only the force. Let's keep moving, but... <laughs> 